Hello. Who loves painting spindles? Nobody, nobody in their right mind loves painting spindles. And there's three floors to do. But don't worry. Dun, dun, dun. You can do it quicker than you think you can. It's still not mega fast, but it's better than not being fast at all. Oh, you can see my fingers coming in and blocking the screen. That's not good. I'll move my fingers out of the way. So, what I'm going to use is a bit like a chef, that master chef with all his knives or her knives. <gasps> being really sexist there. Oh, unconscious bias slipping out. That was terrible, terrible of me. Anyway, back to the master chef who has lots of knives. I'm a master decorator with lots of brushes that all do different things. This little one, little angled brush, a sash brush. Sometimes called a radiator brush, but it's actually a sash brush. That's its real name. Nice and curved and bent. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then these two, my roundy one here. That's got a terrible name, dog's cock. Oh, yuck, revolting. And a flat brush. It's also angled. See, angled. If you can see that, it's not square. So when you hold that ergonomically, that's the natural angle of your arm, but it's flat onto the woodwork. A square one, your arm is cranked. Ah, when you do a lot of painting, that don't have to give you repetitive strain injury. This one, natural angle that you'd hold your arm, but it's flat to the woodwork. Perfect. So those are the three brushes that I'm going to be using. And this little one, oh, this one's great. It might seem slow, but it catches everything you need. And that's for doing all these awkward, fiddly little bits under here. Because you can get in at all the angles, twist it round. And I literally will do that on all of them, all the way along. And then I have to lean over to do this side so I can actually see what I'm doing. But I'll pull it down like that, like this, la la la. And do that on all of the spindles. Right old faff. Mm, I could use it here, but I'll probably use my round brush. Because the round brush is quicker, it has more bristles. But this one I'll use in all this awkward fiddliness under here, under the handrail. Oh, and the paint I'm using, good old Zinza. My etching primer. And this one has been tinted. I don't know if you can see that on there. Does it say? Mm, cover plus, one on that. I don't know if it says on their decorating warehouse where I got it from. And they've tinted it in a slight grey colour because I'm putting on French grey afterwards, so it's gonna go on a lot easier on top of this Zinza that's tinted to a greyish color, rather on top of white Zinza. And I'm not even gonna rub down all these spindles, because there's flipping loads of them. The only reason I'd rub down is to get a key on there, but as I've told you many times before, Zinza is an etching primer. It literally will, once painted on here, key itself on. It's got a funny magic process and it will etch itself onto that surface. Even though that is oil-based gloss, it will etch itself on there and stick fabulously. And then when I put my water-based eggshell on top of the Zinza, that will stick to the Zinza. This will save so much time. It's still going to be laborious and it's still not my favourite job. But it's the best solution to come up with the quickest result and still look fabulous. So be like that master chef with lots of brushes. This funny little one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I love this little brush. And these two, the round one and the flat one. But probably I'll do all of the bits with this. Then I'll do all of the bits that I need with that brush. And then I'll do all of the bits I need with that one. So I don't have three brushes on the go at once, trying to keep them all live, as I keep them live, which means wet. Hmm. Okay, Ooh, happy painting. Ho, ho, ho.